Dostos. It is a Friday night and we are going to learn some English. Es un viernes y vamos a aprender inglés ahora. Okay, so what we're going to look at are verbs. Lo que vamos a estar repasando son verbos. All right, so we're going to do a crossword puzzle. And we're going to fill in the crossword with the verbs. All right. Thank you for the hearts. Gracias por los corazones. So let's go ahead and look at number three right here. Number three. Don't sleep late tomorrow. Now we have to select a verb that's going to fit on number three across. So right here is number three across. So which verb are we going to use? It's going to be don't sleep late tomorrow. Sleep. Sleep is the correct verb. Now remember, a verb is an action. Un verbo enseña acción. All right. Oops. Now let's go ahead and look at number one down. I'm going to scoot the camera over a little bit right here. And it says Henry. And the verb we're looking at is study German last year. But if we use study, that's present. Study está escrito en el presente. So we have to write it in the past. And why do we have to write it in the past? Because Henry learned about German or learned the German. Yes, that's right, studied. You got a little ahead of me. Thank you. I was trying to explain it. That's right, studied. Good job. Buen trabajo. So number one down is going to be studied. Now let me ask you all, si se ve bien, se ve claro, se ve a buena distancia las palabras? Thank you for the hearts, gracias por los corazones. Me imagino que si se ve bien de distancia. Okay, the next one we have, we understand is the verb, the play last night. We, how do we write understand? ¿Cómo escribimos understand en el pasado? Porque el evento sucedió anoche en el pasado. How do we write understand? ¿Alguien me puede dar un... Uh, ¿Quiere hacer un intento? It's understood. understood and this is number five across right there so it's going to be understood understood is el pasado de understand we understood the play last night okay y si oyen un niño por detrás o si oyen un niño Es mi hijo que se, se está durmiendo, so no vayan a pensar que es, espantan aquí donde vivo yo. Please, and the verb we're looking at is add these numbers. So, la oración está escrito en el presente, la acción add is el presente so add stays in the present add and this is number two down so it's going to be a d d add
the next one Jesse forgot to do is the action his homework thank you for the hearts gracias por los corazones Jesse forgot to do his homework do está escrito en el pasado y el evento en la oración sucedió en el pasado forgot es la palabra que te dirige a conocer si cuando sucedió forgot to do his homework and this is number six so it's going to be do all right so let's let's see if you all can try one a ver si ustedes pueden con número cuatro number four and practice piano every day practice es el verbo que tenemos que cambiar para darles una pista give you a clue number four down right here one two three four five six seven eight nine nine letters how can we write practice in the past I'm sorry not in the past how can we rewrite this verb to fit this sentence? ¿Cómo podemos escribir este verbo a que se entienda la oración? It's an practices. P R A C T I C E S practices thank you thank you gracias por los hearts guys thank you for the hearts Tom washes the verb his car every Sunday and this is a cross number seven a cross one, two, three, four, five, six. Tom washes his car every Sunday. It's going to be washes. Don't be is the verb late for class tomorrow, and this is eight down. Right here, eight down. It's going to be don't be is the verb be late for class tomorrow. Then we have, oops, I got a little ahead of myself there. Six students. B is the verb, sick yesterday. And this is number nine, across. Six students were sick yesterday. Were. Let's look at number 12. She, and the verb is be, 10 years old last week. So we have to change this verb. Tenemos que cambiar este verbo para que pueda conectarse o se entienda mejor la oración. She, and this is 12 across. I'm sorry, 12 down. She was 
ten years old last week. Was. I, and go is a verb, to the store tomorrow. So we're going to change the verb. I will go to the store tomorrow. And this is number 11 across. Will go. And then here we have the remaining three. John, leave is the verb, the meeting early this morning. And the verb is going to be changed to John left the meeting early this morning. And since it's 13 across, going to be L E F T left then we have they walk is the verb home from school yesterday so we're going to change that verb to the past al pasado they walked home from school yesterday 14 across w a l k e d walked and then we have rose speak spanish very well And we're going to change this verb to speaks. Rose speaks Spanish very well. S P E A K S speaks. Okay, so there you have it. Here are the verbs and the changes to make them fit in the sentence. Thank you for the hearts. Gracias por los corazones. Gracias por estar aquí conmigo esta noche. Espero que les, vaya, uh, les haya gustado la, la lección. Los espero ver aquí mañana otra vez. Por favor, recomienden este broadcast a otra persona para que siga creciendo esta familia, para que siga creciendo esta clase y para seguir dando esa instrucción. Gracias por estar aquí. Gracias por los corazones. Cuídense y disfruten lo que queda de este viernes. Take care. Have a great Friday night. Enjoy what's left of it. Please recommend this to someone so that I can continue providing these classes for free. Y'all have a good night and I will see you here tomorrow.